Welcome to Bench and Tips. Today, we'll be walking through our Path Following Machine app. The Path Following Machine app is an intuitive web-based tool that takes you through the step-by-step -step instructions in order to create your own Path Following Machine Logic application. To access the tool, go to path-following.vention.io and the application will take you through a four-step process. This tutorial will walk you through each step of the process and demonstrate the complete customization options that are available to you. With that, let's get started. Step 1. Machine Parameters To begin configuring your path following program, start by selecting Path Following from the available machine apps. First, you will need to create your machine parameters. As stated, this allows you to map your machine configuration to your machine app. You will first have to map your actuators to the standard predefined G code axes. Do this by selecting them from the drop down menu. Afterwards, make sure to jog each axis to ensure that the actuators have been properly mapped. Once verified, click Next. You will now define your workspace dimensions. This will essentially be the available travel distance of each of your axes. You can modify these values by using the input windows on the left. Step 2. Uploading your G-Code file. Simply select the file you would like to use and confirm. Once uploaded, this will open a window which will allow you to edit your G-Code file if needed. If there are any errors in your file, this will prompt you to fix them before proceeding to the next step. You can find the list of supported G-Code commands in our resource center linked below. You can also edit the name of the file in the pane on the left. The second part in this step will have you define your end of arm tools. Your G-code will already have its own tool commands defined. This part of the step will have you associate these commands with your configured machine logic digital outputs as well as define what is considered as an active state. The final window will give you a visualization of your path as well as indicate its starting point. With that, we can move on to the next step. Step 3. Assembling your G-code pattern. This step will have you build your pattern using your uploaded G-code files. You can do this by adding the relevant G-code paths and editing the location in the workspace using the origin offset input windows. You may also scale the paths as well as duplicate them if you'd like to have your path run multiple times within a single pattern. Similar to your G-code earlier, you can rename your pattern using the pane on the left. Once you've built out your pattern, you will have to select the order that your G-code files will be executed in. You can do this by dragging and dropping the files to their appropriate positions. Once you're satisfied with your pattern, click Done to confirm and save. Step 4. Generating an application All the previous steps have been completed in order to create the paths and patterns you would like your machine to follow. In this step, you will build out the application program itself. You can start by clicking on New Instance. This will create a new machine logic program with the pre built commands required to run your created G code patterns. Here, you have the option to add additional functionality to your path following program at three locations at the start of the application, between G code paths while your pattern is running, and at the end of the application. All standard machine logic commands are accepted here, with the most useful one being able to add an output message to your application console. An additional note, it's recommended that you rename your application in order to properly differentiate it from your other machine logic applications. With your intermediary machine logic commands complete, you are now ready to run your path following application. Simply navigate over to the App Launcher tab by selecting it from the top navigation bar or by clicking Operate at the bottom of the window. From here, select your recently created application from the available list. At the top, Select the pattern you would like to run in your application. In the Visualization tab, you are able to see the current settings and some basic information about your system. The Information Console in the right tab will output any messages or information you created in your Machine Logic program earlier. If satisfied, you can press play to run your path following application. And that wraps up our tutorial of Vention's Path Following Machine app. Thank you for watching, and happy designing!